All right, welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, and today I'm here to talk about the Chargers doing their long-awaited cultural reset. But before I get into it, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're not already. I'm going to be talking about the NFL all offseason. So yeah, let's get right into it. So if you're a Chargers fan, you have to be wondering, what actually is the plan to maximize Justin Herbert? And we're going to get into that because you're probably thinking, okay, they just traded away Keenan Allen. They just cut Mike Williams. He was literally worth nothing to them anymore. And they let Austin Eckler's contract expire too. So I have no problems with the Chargers losing Keenan or Mike Williams because the Harbaugh and Hortiz regime, they are doing what has been waited for a long time in the Bolt country. If there's anyone you have to be angry at if you're a Chargers fan, it's Tom Telesco. He completely failed to surround Herbert with adequate talent. He wasted a few years. You wasted pretty much the entirety of his rookie contract. And the Chargers core was really lackluster. And this is a team that's identity has been broken. Staley was an absolute doofus. And ever since they moved to LA, it was always going to be an uphill battle culturally. Being in LA, where nobody is a Chargers fan, and when you extort your remaining fans and you were never playing with a home field advantage, I don't know, I personally couldn't enjoy playing for a team like that, but the Rams won the Super Bowl and still nobody cares about them in LA either, and I know this as someone who lives on the West Coast, but this is something that should have been done years ago, and it looks like the Harbaugh-Hortiz regime is finally putting their plans into action. The Chargers roster was full of too much old, aging, expensive, and mid. And the most embarrassing thing for them is that we've seen Herbert in the playoffs once since he took over as the Chargers quarterback, and it resulted in them blowing a multiple score lead to Trevor Lawrence. And Keenan Allen and Mike Williams are no longer the team, and they didn't make the wrong move letting either of those guys go. These two, they definitely weren't the model of health, and that's not really something you look for, especially as these kinds of wide receivers age. Keenan's game will age pretty well, and it has to this point. But he's past his peak. It's time to move on. Sure, he had a great season. But Staley's offense only gave Herbert no real option outside of having Keenan. And they didn't have really a solid run game either, especially with Eckler getting his high ankle sprain and Josh Kelly just being bad, same with Isaiah Spiller. But with better pocket protection and better play from the Chargers offensive line, Herbert can make pretty much any wide receiver unless it's Quentin Johnston look like a stud. Uh, the Chargers have a coach that will also command the respect of his team, and that is something that they clearly did not have with Staley. And regarding Keenan again, he would have taken a pay cut if he truly wanted to stay with the Chargers. I don't fault the Chargers for asking him for it, and I don't fault Keenan for saying no, especially after coming off his monster year. And it's always the question of sending away veterans, because this isn't Madden where you just send guys away and there's absolutely no ramifications. There were probably guys in that locker room who definitely looked up to Keenan and Mike. But so many people also complained about how slow and non-explosive their offense had been over the last several years. But now they're flipping their shit when they clean house and they're building it back up. But how do you think they're going to get faster? If the Harbaugh Hortiz vision for the future is the same as it was in Michigan and it has been when Harbaugh was with the 49ers, it's... A run game coupled with an efficient passing game. You match that up with great defense and solid special teams, and you've got yourself a contender. Especially in Patrick Mahomes' division, where it looks like the Chiefs have kind of, you know, appeared to maximize the fact that they can beat you in other ways. No longer do they have to be in high shootout games. They won the Super Bowl off the back of their defense and their secondary. And I guess the only way to match this is fight fire with fire. And I think the passing game for the Chargers will be the last piece of the puzzle unless Neighbors falls to five. It's just how Harbaugh works and historically how both of his teams in San Francisco and Michigan operated. Corum is a lock to go to this team in the third, and I wouldn't be surprised if Roman Wilson comes with him. But people also need to realize that this defense and this team will be 100% better under Harbaugh. Staley had no idea how to run a defense, so so many of their players struggled. They couldn't develop worth shit under Telesco, and this was a badly needed culture reset because you don't want to waste Justin Herbert's prime, and what you were doing was not working. And I'm just glad that the entire Char Chargers organization, not talking about you know the guy, the GM, or the head coach, but I'm happy that the entire Chargers organization up top recognized that what they were doing philosophically was not working.
And if you continue wasting Justin Herbert any longer, it is just going to be embarrassing 20, 30 years from now just looking back on this and being like, well, why wasn't Herbert better? Why wasn't Herbert winning more games? And yeah, so that just basically does it for me. And, you know, when I think about what is going on with the Chargers, I think historically over the past five years or so, I've thought about a team that always had a good roster, that always was littered with injuries, but could never get over the hump, could never put their plans and put the offseason championship they always won into action. Although it was kind of taken over by the Browns and Jets over these past few years. But anyway, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. So this is pretty much my thoughts on the Chargers and their culture reset that has been badly needed. And the fact that I am happy that they are finally doing this as a football fan. I'm a Broncos fan. I don't hate the Chargers. I actually would like to see them succeed. So that just basically does it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.